So in 1949, a severe wildfire broke out in Mangulch, Montana. Uh, and the wildfire was bad enough that a group of 14 smoke jumpers were actually deployed to fight the fire. Uh, so the smoke jumpers, you know, obviously jumping out of the airplane down right into the danger zone. And unfortunately, shortly after they're on the ground, the winds shift and all of a sudden they realize they're in, they're in a bad situation. Uh, the fire was advancing on them at 600 feet a minute, and they realized that they were going to have to run for their lives. Uh, after just a little bit of running, the, the guy that was actually the leader of the group is a guy named Wag Dodge, and uh, he realizes, he stops everybody and says, we're not going to be able to outrun the fire. Like, going up the mountain is just impossible. So he came up with the idea of actually setting something called an escape fire. And so what he did is he actually started a fire that would burn up all of the area that they were in, burn towards the fire. So when the actual wild, wildfire got to them, there was nothing for it to burn. You know, they had already proactively burnt that up uh, and it was called an escape fire. It had never been done before at this point. Uh, the 13 people that he was in charge of leading decided he had lost his mind. They said, you're crazy. Uh, it'll never work. And they ran for their lives. Wag stayed behind, he set an escape fire, uh, and coincidentally, he was spared, and uh, unfortunately, the other 13 people of his unit perished in that fire. Uh, what I really want you to understand is when it comes to your health, uh, we all say our health is our number one asset. Uh, unfortunately, we don't, if you examine where we spend our time and where we spend our money and the type of things that we do, the outside person wouldn't look at a lot of our lives and go, yeah, they really do value their health. Like just from the outside in, I can see that they, they put a lot of emphasis on their health. So what we have to do is we have to actually start a health fire, if you will. We need to spend as much time and energy as we can taking all of the environment that we're in and that our body is in and our internal uh, bo body environment and try to make that as absolute healthy as we can. So when sickness comes, when the other things start to press down on us, uh, we don't succumb to the flames uh, of bad health and, and poor choices. So five out of six Americans right now are dying of heart disease. They're dying of cancer. Uh, and that leaves one out of six people that actually are going to make it or, or at least not die of heart disease and cancer, which most people will tell you are preventable illnesses in a lot of cases. So. That's the, the big thing that you need to understand is, is we know that health is our number one asset. We want to actually start acting like it. Making sure that you're making your visits and you're in here on a regular basis is a huge start to that. But when you go home, the environment that you put yourself in, the foods that we start to, to access and, and put inside of ourselves are all things that we have to pay close attention to. And I want you to constantly think about that health fire. You know, if you're not burning up the area around you positively with health, uh, all you do is, is you're just going to end up being on a run. And you watch a lot of people and the way that their health has gone, and they've been trying to outrun the fire for a long time. They've been fighting sickness and fighting disease until finally they get to the point that it's just overwhelming. It consumes them and takes them over, and it, and it robs them of their joy, and eventually it robs them of their life. We don't want that for you. Uh, we're excited that you're here, uh, and hopefully we can lead you on a path that's not only going to change the way you uh, seek health, but the way that your family and all the people in your network uh, actually seeks health as well. I look forward to seeing you in your next visit. God bless.